PBS NewsHour's comprehensive reporting was the best news coverage on COVID-19 last year. With two stories, Making Sense, The Victims of COVID, and Global Pandemic, the team tackled urgent stories at home and abroad with equal verb. With its focus on the economic toll of the pandemic, NewsHour zeroed in on U.S. industries hit the hardest. Retail, restaurants, travel, all while stressing how COVID exacerbated already existing racial and economic disparities. Elsewhere, NewsHour followed the plight of Chinese activists and the lessons learned in Uganda from the Ebola outbreaks. They followed Spain's lockdown and Mexico's exploding COVID-19 crisis. Whether near or far, NewsHour journalists made it a point to capture the enormity of last year's public health crisis. For its work bringing context and perspective to a global disaster, it's my honor to present a Peabody Award to PBS NewsHour. Congratulations. One of the many sectors of the economy that is getting hit especially hard is the restaurant industry. John Williams owns Whitlow's, a bar and grill in Arlington, Virginia, not far from the news hour, that's been closed since mid-March. We let go of all of our hourly employees. It was one of the hardest things I've had to do in my life. Most restaurants expect more layoffs this month. David Guas closed Bayou Bakery in Arlington this week, laying off all but four of his 23 employees. Guas teamed up with nonprofit Real Food for Kids to give away free, healthy meals to children in the neighborhood and others in need. I have at least six or seven of my staff whose kids were on the reduced meal programs and the free meal programs. So I'm, wow. I'm staring at who's gonna be affected. The coronavirus couldn't come at a worse time for Lebanon. The country is already in a deep recession. In the country's second largest city, Tripoli, volunteers hand out food to the poor. Now, even this charity work has stopped to prevent the new coronavirus from spreading. And for a million and a half Syrians here, the global pandemic adds a new layer of fear to their hardships. The generations here who survived war and political crises now face an unprecedented set of challenges. On behalf of the, my colleagues at the PBS NewsHour, particularly our outstanding business, economics, and national affairs team, including correspondent Paul Salman, senior producer Murray Jacobson, producers Ly Diane Lincoln and Lee Coram Vogus, and others, as well as our foreign affairs team, including correspondent Nick Schifrin, and our bench of wonderful special correspondents around the world, led by our senior producer Morgan Till and his colleagues Dan Segalen, Ali Rogan, and Layla Koran, and more. Thank you for this incredible recognition of our reporting during this extraordinary year covering the COVID-19 pandemic. A year and a half ago, only a few individuals knew about what was to become the biggest story of our lifetimes as journalists and as humans. This pandemic has affected us all as individuals, colleagues, citizens of the world, and families. Our goal through these reports was to tell the human experience of this pandemic, how we as employees and businesses of all types, workers of all types, were coping with the many sudden life adjustments that the pandemic brought, as well as how people around the world were coping with this global crisis, sometimes with much better success than we were here in the US. Our coverage of the story of our lifetimes continues. We don't know what the final chapters look like yet. And in the meantime, thank you to the Peabody Award Board of Jurors for this great honor and congratulations to this evening's other award winners. Thank you.